Okay, you're meant to keep your focus on something or someone at this time. And I'm also hearing that there's certain distractions around you, like the idea of something better or even someone better. So we're just gonna pull some cards and find out what it is you need to know at this time about this current love. We have the lovers. I love when the lovers come out because it's very rare that it actually comes out in my love readings. And whenever it does, it's just a confirmation like, Whoever you are with right now is who you are meant to be with. And there are going to be distractions sent your way. There are going to be opportunities to become distracted sent your way. This person that you are with does not have distractions. They do not have other options is what I'm being told. And so if you are wondering, um, is this person all for you or is this person seeing someone else? No, they are not seeing someone else. And if you are in alignment with this message, this message is for you. So you can trust what you are receiving. So this person is not seeing someone else right now. They're not interested in anyone else. They're not attracting in anyone else. Two of cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a connection that is meant to be right now. But like I said, there are other connections, maybe even from your past, that could potentially stand in the way of this connection. This could also be future connections. This doesn't have to be of your, of your past. Whatever it is, there are certain distractions around you. So just be aware at this time that who you are with currently is who you are meant to be with. And with the two of swords here, surrendering to this idea is going to be your protection also moving forward. And with the seven of wands coming through, this is a breakthrough in this connection. There's something significant about to take place. Maybe this is an admission of guilt or feelings like something this person is going to admit something to you um or maybe this person is even feeling guilty for something that they did in the past but i'm hearing you say like it doesn't matter like just let it go like it doesn't matter maybe this person has developed a fear over something that they did in the past um lack of trust in oneself is also coming through so maybe whatever hesitancy you're feeling from this person at this time has to do with um, their own internal energy, like what this person is experiencing. Yeah, with the Three of Pentacles, that's kind of the idea of like karma. So this person is has a fear that they are going to reap what they sowed. Like whatever they did, you are going to do. Or like they have this fear for some reason is what's coming through. So that could create a disconnection from you because they want to protect themselves. So maybe that's kind of the pullback energy that you're feeling from this person at this time, Divine Spirit. Where is this connection headed? King of Pentacles and Page of Swords. A new start, a fresh beginning, and a strong foundation is being built for this connection is also what's coming through. This is somebody who has decided that they want to stay. Like they want to stay within this connection. With the Page of Swords, this to me is a rebirth, like a chance for the both of you to start something new and also grow into something very beautiful. So something is coming out or something is being brought to light. Maybe a truth is being brought to light as well here. And with the Page of Pentacles, again, that new energy, uh, new beginning kind of energy. So not only do you have this fresh start that is like here for you right now, but this to me is like innocence. It's, it's tenderness. It's, it's trust in this fresh start. It's like saying like, hey, if you come out, like if you step forward into this connection, if you choose this connection, you're going to be well taken care of and well provided for. So an Empress energy on the bottom of the deck. This could also have to do with being very supportive of your energy at this time. This could be where when you choose to ground yourself within this connection and this fresh beginning with this person and the Ten of Wands, possible twin flame union. If you choose to ground yourself within this connection with this person, maybe giving something another chance, um, you are going to have fruitfulness like you are going to have abundance within this connection you are going to be taken care of you are going to be, pro be provided for and you are going to be able to step fully into the best and highest version of yourself within this connection so it's very supportive of you and i'm also just hearing that you are going to be able to be very supportive of each other's hopes and dreams so i trust that this message will find only those it is meant to 
As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you do feel called to dive in further to your personal connection, I go live. Otherwise, you can check out my website and choose a channeled message, video recording, um, candle ritual, energy reading, all of that. Um, whatever you feel called to, I am honored to be able to channel for you and be here for you whenever you are called.